Good evening, Halito. Monday, I guess the 20th. Um, doing a garden update and I apologize for the noise. My neighbor decided to uh, mow this evening. Yeah, we can't get out in the daytime. We've been over 100 degrees every day. Not quite as hot as what it is out west. Chew wee. Um, so while I was out here, I figured I'd do an update. I have some more spices. Uh, cilantro. Jalapenos. These are my lemon boys. Yay! And look at the size of those. I can't wait. You really got to see my Juliet stuff. And there's another big bunch of lemon boys. I was worried they weren't going to make it. And I had to put some calcium and nitrogen on them. Uh, apparently they weren't getting enough. Um, all of my seeds that I've thrown out, my marigold seeds, I have really nice hedges everywhere. My okra's doing good. I'm letting my radishes go to seed. And I'm going to try to seed save. I've never seed saved from radishes before. And Aside from the pest eaten, that's my first time successfully having broccoli. So yay. And hang on and I'll show you something else. I have cabbage. So I have two heads at the present time. And I am getting Brussels sprouts. Bitty, bitty tiny. I've never had any luck. They get to this point and they start getting ate up. So I've been spraying them. We'll see. Um, that is Russian and then t another type. Uh, but the, yeah, the giant Russians. And these are all my marigolds from seeds. Um, let's go over to truck patch. Hang on. I got a partner today. She's brave in the heat with me. Ain't that right, kitty? You want to go? Come on. Let's go. Come on. Okay, welcome back to the truck patch. Um, I call this my, my jungle. I have tomatoes coming out my ears. Just look at this. This is that GMO early girl. And just from top all the way down is covered these were seeds that I put out and they they grew um, this one yep that one's got a little bitty tiny tomato and I think this is gonna be maybe a cherry tomato um, I had thought it was going to be brandy wine from the leaves, but it looks like it's going to be a cherry tomato. And then I have more tomatoes here, and there, and there. There's a bunch in there. You just can't see them all. And then that one for sure is a brandy wine. I can tell by the shape of the tomatoes. And some in here. And those plants are there three in front covered and the yeah all the tomatoes are doing really good over here and this was where I did the lasagna style to start with for the first time oh and those are my Russian mammoth sunflowers and they are getting huge they are really tall um, I'd say probably now seven foot tall and oh I see some critters in there. Hmm. All my marigolds are doing good. It's my stevia. Cotton. My cotton's growing. Cotton. There's some more cotton over here. Let me get through here. This is spaghetti squash and I have these all over the place and I have some 
in there. And there's another over here laying on the ground between the cucumbers and the okra. Uh, there's two more in here. And there's another one over here. And I am in the corn now. And it's starting to tassel. Yay! And my spaghetti squash is growing into my corn. So I guess corn beans and squash, that's okay for my squash to do that, I'm going to assume. Um, zucchini I moved in here. But I don't think it's going to do much. I hand pollinated my zucchini this morning when I came out and picked cucumbers. Just pulling up some radishes. Um, look at there, getting ready for a flower. That's my pumpkin patch. Brandy wines that were for friends and for whatever reason they didn't pick them up and I'm not sure but that might be a cherry. Another patch of okra. I had to move our my helper, my wagon over here because when I was babysitting my dog's dog, my daughter's dog, haha <laughs> my dog's dog, um, she kept wanting to run through this and I've had such a horrible time with okra but it looks like the stuff that I've established is going to do A-OK. -okay. Alright, let's get out of the jungle here. And I do have my sugar babies. But it looks like they're going to be taken over by the pumpkins. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I got more cotton. Another brandy wine. That, I want to say was a zinnia. Got ate up. But see, I would rather that get eaten up than that be eaten up. And then uh, marigolds. She's so, not sure if that is a lone carrot or a weed. Cilantro. Some more sunflowers. Now we are inside again. And I have sweet peas in here. And there are peas on the pod. Peas on the vine. Pea pods on the vine. And I also have beans, bush beans, planted in throughout here. That row all the way down has beans, bush beans, lima beans planted. Some more zucchini that I planted here that's just starting to grow. Siberian miniature kale, dwarf kale. This would be my pickle and spices, my dill. Some romaine, okra, more zucchini, basil, purple basil, iceberg. Or romaine lettuce. Let's see if I can. Oh well, yeah, my peas and the beans in there. And look at the tassel. Yay! Oh, and we have where an ear of corn is going to sprout out from there. So, oh look, I have two now. Yay! So, and tassel. I like seeing tassel. Way up over there is tassel in the center. Radishes. Um, romaine. Like I said, I'm going to try to seed save from these. This is the other side of my spaghetti squash wall and a lone standing pole bean. Is that not funny or what? One pole bean. And some pollinators in here. These are four o'clocks and they're blooming. Some miniature sunflowers, or at least not the big mammoth Russian ones. So there is the jungle. 
I hope all the fathers out there had a great Father's Day celebrating with family and those that don't have kids that you celebrated with your father um, mine is gone lost him to cancer so I had a nice quiet day at home um, I'm gonna get out of here and get back inside and cool off so y'all take care have a good week blessed evening and do something kind for a stranger remember our veterans and let's not forget our boys and girls deployed thanks for stopping by click the like all right bye, -bye.